Why in a day on my birthday? 28 years ago today, a queen was born. Obviously, I had to start my morning with an ice coffee. Oh, I literally got so spoiled. I feel so grateful. As you know, I've been a poorly girly this week, so I got my vitamins to make me feel better. And the only thing I wanted for Bracky this morning was a massive steak. 28? Oh, damn, man. 28. I'm just going to throw it out. I am older than this this uh, this girl. That is insane. Oh, my God. This just kind of goes to show you, uh, you get out what you put in. These I don't know why so many of these people eat the, the quantity and quality of disgusting foods that they do on a daily basis. I, it's always anomalistic to me when I hear the ages be thrown out. Because I'm always thinking, like, there's no way you're 28 years old, dude. You got a 28 what? 28 months away from 40? There's no way this woman is 28. But then again, there's a lot of plastic surgery. The diet is literally garbaggio. And you know what? When it comes to... Be, having this much plastic surgery, it tends to age people quite a bit. I Back in the day, people used to get plastic surgery. Back in the day, as in like the 90s or maybe, I guess, the early 2000s, people used to get plastic surgery in their 40s because they were trying to emulate the look of what they had back in their early 30s or maybe late 20s because they're trying to get back what they used to have. And it seems like we've gone far away from that. We're no longer trying to obtain something we used to have. We're trying to get something we, that nobody has. And we're trying to like, I don't know, like we're trying to make fake faces or whatever. So everybody just tends to look like Jim Carrey's from The Mask. So you, you, you just have like these really weird faces that don't actually reflect any human being proportions. But regardless, it's also the diet as well. I am not here to critique the plastic surgery. I think plastic surgery is fine. Like, if you want to do it, go ahead. There's a time and a place for that. If it exists, you 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 know, go ahead. People have told me that plastic surgery in the UK is a lot different than it is in, in America. There's a lot of checks and balances in place here in America. You can't just go into random, like, establishments like uh, Vietnamese nail salons and get plastic surgery. You just can't do that. Uh, you, you have to go to an actual like place like a doctor's place in order to get that that stuff implemented But I guess in the UK is different. I'm not I'm, I'm not too sure about that I don't know, but that's what people have told me But uh, the diet is also garbage uh, this woman is known to eat makais every day in some cases and <laughs> I, I hope that her birthday is the way that she wanted to celebrate it But to be honest dude, it kind of seems like you're just eating everything that you ate or already It seems like this is just a basic thing for you. You ever see when somebody goes when they celebrate Thanksgiving and they're just eating what they already eat daily. And it's like, well, you just kind of took away the entire joy of what Thanksgiving was. You know what I'm saying, dude? There's nothing special about this anymore. You're just eating Thanksgiving every single day. That's what it is. So, I don't know. We're, we're going to get into this, dude. Um, by the way, the tanner on the hands. <gasps> let's let's keep going. This was absolutely gone. It's orange. It's orange, dude. I don't know if you guys understand, but if you're tanned up, is it? are you supposed to be orange, dude? Is it is that some, is that the actual look we're going for? Is like the orange look? I thought tanning was like to darken your skin just a little bit, right? Just a tad bit. Not orange though. Orange is like Chester Cheeto. It ain't easy being cheesy type shit. Oh Jess, and the perfect way. <sighs> it is what it is. I like the Shrek. Shrek is cool. I love Mike Myers, dude. He's one of my favorite actors, dude. I loved him way back in the day with Bill and Ted. Or was that Bill and Ted? That was the other one. No, Bill and Ted was with Keanu Reeves. You know the one I'm talking about. It's not my day. Guys, can you believe it? Shrek is in the cinema on my birthday. What the freak? Terminator 2 is also in the in the theater, dude. They got some good movies out here in this theater. But then again, this, is, this just kind of looks like the Netflix's entire roster right now, dude? Am I wrong? Can you imagine going to a movie theater just to see Shrek 2, which is on Netflix right now? Or, I guess, The Terminator 2, which is also on Netflix right now? How many times have we seen the same movies over and over and over again, dude? But you know what? That's one thing I love about American culture. A lot of people here will tell you, America doesn't have any culture. America, Dude, we got films, okay? We got movies. We got water parks. And guess what else we got? UTIs. We got a whole bunch of that stuff. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's fantastic. We got overpriced healthcare. Um, but you know what, dude? We also have films. We have great, great American actors. I guess over there in the UK, you also have films. But like, what is it, dude? I don't like Harry Potter, dude. I guess you got Harry Potter. You got some weird movies. Like, there's some weird stuff going on over there. But it's mainly Harry Potter. But you know, I'm not gonna hate on it too much. Let's keep going. It's like it's just meant to. Be How much did you? Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me see the price. Is in the cinema on my birthday. What the I just gotta see the price. Let me see the price. Four bills. Is this four bills? Four dollars. It's four dollars for that. That's not too bad. Eh, is it, dude? How much is the subscription for Netflix? Like, what? How much are you paying right now? I'm paying 11 maybe. I think, no, I'm actually, I think I'm paying 12 
No, I think I'm paying 15, dude. They raise the price like every year and then you just lose track of it and you don't ever check your thing because you're like, I'm using Netflix, right? But then you don't realize like, oh my God, I'm actually paying like $20, right? I know somebody that has the four, those four screens and he told me he paid like $25 and I was like, that's insane. <laughs> I, I guess he's getting the 4K as well. But then again, not many people even have a 4K screen. Like it's just meant to be and it's national. Hot dog also looks diabolical. If your hot dog looks like this, I feel like it, it looks too good to be true, if that makes any sense. It looks like what you think of a hot dog should look like. Any day today as well. I got a hotty dog, sweet popcorn, obviously. Oh, she went with uh, Corey's World. Yo, why are you looking at her like that? Yo, what is up, bro? You guys don't get sun. I know you guys don't get sun. Is it really just because you guys don't get sun, you have to emulate the look of weather, the, the, the look of getting sun? Is that what it is? Why do you guys always look perpetually orange? Obviously, I had to bring Shrek with me for the journey. He loved one. Yo, calm down, dude. There's nobody in this theater, dude. And not only that, the people are, that are in the theater are probably don't want to even be recorded at all. I wonder if there, isn't there like a rule or something like that? Because you remember back in the day, even now you could, when I go, there's like a Puerto Rican corner store down where I live. It's, not, it's like an actual supermarket though. If you go in there, there'll be a Chinese dude, usually right at the front, they let him in. And he has a whole table of just ripped DVDs. And I always go in and I always think like, who even has a device that can even have a DVD be inputted into it, right? But you go up to him and you go, what do you have, man? And he'll go, uh, I got the new movies today. Uh, whatever, whatever the matter hell you want to watch, I got it here. Anything that you want to watch, I have it today. And you're looking at this, you're like, how much is it? And he's like, I got the two for one special today. So if you buy two movies, I get you the ten ten dollars, ten dollar today. And you're thinking like ten dollars, bro. Like these movies is ripped, like straight off the screen. You got the dude in the movie theater with the camera. I guess nobody has the actual camera anymore. But whenever somebody says camera, I always think like this. But the dudes in the movie theater. If you're watching a ripped movie, bro, you're hearing, all you're hearing in the background is. <coughs> That's what you're hearing in the movie theater. Because the guy recording it always has respiratory issues. Or you're hearing people laugh in the movie theater. It's always bad quality. You're getting it at like 720p. It just doesn't make sense anymore to sit there in a movie theater and, and, and record it and then like upload it somewhere. I, I don't know, dude. The movie usually comes out in like two weeks anyway. But anyway watching himself on the big screen. I even wore my Shrocks. I literally sat- Shrocks is- In my element with my besties watching Shrek. Oh shit, dude. We're actually, mm, we might have some problems here, dude. She actually streaming the whole movie. On my birthday. What a perfect way. Certain lighting is kind of weird. To celebrate after that. <laughs> I went home- got... In the, bro, I don't understand so many people that take pictures in I, uh, in a in a in a bathroom. I never understood that, dude. Uh, are you guys never concerned that you might hear like somebody busting it down in a bathroom or somebody coming out with nutsack or like is that never something that you guys? Yo, too orange, way too orange, dude. We need to calm down on the tanner, okay? Like we need to reduce it by eighty percent, eighty percent. I'll give you that twenty percent, maybe. This lighting might just be off, I don't know, but this lighting is insane in the membrane, dude. I'm literally looking at a whole bunch of Cheeto dust right now. Got ready for my birthday meal. There's literally about 30 of us going to Giovanni's, this little Italian in Cardiff, and it wouldn't be me if the whole meal wasn't extra. I got name tags for everyone, decorations, the law. It was the most wholesome vibe ever. Like the night was just immaculate. Corey showing back up. I think that's his dad right there, dude. Killer vibes. And I actually can't believe it. You know what? I, I think Corey's world, this whole like the people to come together, it, they're a nice, they're a nice team, you know. They're 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 probably really good people. Um, their diets are sasquashed up. They're you know, obviously body slamming a copious amount of calories on a daily basis and their overuse of tanner and plastic surgery, but Overall, I can't say anything bad about these people. Everyone made the effort to come to my birthday. Oh shit, that dude looks like Leon. he's a part of One Direction, not this guy though. I up. feel so loved and grateful. I'm literally surrounded by the best people ever. I even got some prezzies. I, I feel like, oh, never mind. I was about, oof, oof, oof. It was such a spoil. Oof, bro, it's not the same here in America, dude. We don't have this type of, what is up, bro? What is up, bro? What is going on, man? Why in the UK is it like this? Okay, Lee. Good lord! Good lord! Yo, this woman is not even the same color that she was earlier. Oh my god, bro. You got multiculturalism on your face depending on the day of the time of day. Yeah, let's go for some savvy B and Yo, yo.
we gotta calm down, dude. This is ridiculous, dude. This is crazy, dude. You look burnt. You, that's, uh, bro, uh, uh, whatever you wanna do, go ahead, dude. But there needs to be, there needs to be a hard limit on how much you can spray on your face, dude. When you going into that Vietnamese nail salon, dude, and that guy, you, you ever see the, the gritted cheese dudes always like grating the cheese on your food and you just don't ever stop because you want that cheese and everybody like the Parmesians and whatever, dude. He's just grating it on there. Just like, let me know when you're done. I feel like the dude at the Vietnamese nail salon just spraying it. Go ahead and let me, let me know when you want me to stop. And he's just spraying. And then he looks over and he's like, What the hell? What the hell? You you don't want me to stop anytime soon? What the hell? The can is almost dry. How the hell you want more than this? And bring in the bring in three more cans. Three more cans. Bring it in. That's a, that's what I imagine this to be, dude. Just spraying for like forty five minutes. How much how much you got on your face, bro? I'm super sexy on my beans, eh? I went That is. I don't know why we go to deluxe restaurant just to get negative food, bro. How much was this plate? Like forty dollars, dude. For what? For what, dude? You incorporated the shells. I'm not paying for the shells. You really, it's like when, you know when you get chicken wings and you're, bu you're buying the bone? Am I am I cracking the bone and <laughs> sucking out the bone marrow, dude? I don't want it. You know, it's the same thing with like lobster or crab. I'm not, why am I paying for something I got to beat? You know, I just want to eat the food. I don't want to sit there with a hammer and just start bashing my plate, trying to get to the meat inside my sea spider. I'm not trying to do that. Went for the seafood linguine. This was stunning. Right over here bench pressing with those my bad curling weight with those lashes the jeez man them them i them, them eyelashes curling like at least five pound dumbbells each it was like muscle squids oh it was unreal i probably she don't look too bad on that wait that food like a good nine out of ten it was absolutely gorgeous uh -huh. tomorrow we've got the brat's birthday party i am so excited i'm so excited to see everyone party with everyone and see everyone's brats your bit. mom don't look bad it's See how I do a cheeky little Yo, bit. calm down, dude. Oh, she got the fan. I've been seeing a lot of people using that fan, dude. You got to be real hot for that to happen, dude. She got the Hillary Clinton special on right now, dude. All right. They slept drop in the middle of the restaurant. Very demure. Very Oh, okay. I'll give her that. That's actually really cool. The way she blew that down. Damn. I'm full. I ended up going for a drink after this. I forgot to film it. And then I got home and I... Okay. I'm not gonna hate on it though. It looks okay. Scrammed this cookie from my management. It, you know, I wouldn't have an issue if this individual, dude, putting it on the stove though, P putting paper on a stove though, bro. I don't think these people do these. Do, you just like don't understand that. You know, that's a stove. I get it's like an electric one or whatever, but uh, dude, man, you know how many times I saw something happen like this because you left something on the stove. Maybe she just leaves it here for a minute or something, dude. But I would be hella concerned. You would never catch me putting anything on the stove besides pots and pans, dude. I'm not putting anything else on that shit. I wouldn't have a problem with her eating the the birthday cake or whatever this is, the birthday cookie. But I see her eating shit like this daily, dude. I'm, I'm pretty sure back here, this is like a whole bunch of muffins back here, I think. I'm pretty sure. I see her eating like this on a daily basis. So it's not there's nothing special about this. I mean, if you're eating like this daily, you kind of take away the whole special occasion of eating. You know what I'm talking about, dude? It'd be like celebrating Christmas every single day. When Christmas comes, it's just a normal day for you. Happy birthday to me. I literally have the Yo. best day ever. Oh, I eat in a day. Today, me, Corey, Leo, and Martha are going on a bouncy day out. But before we set off to Bristol, I had to grab myself a Greg's. I got a nice coffee, a bacon and cheese turnover. No problem getting a nice coffee. I just hope that it's not too much on the calorie count. Uh, and a sausage roll. Usually it is. A lot of people don't even realize the amount of calories those drinks have. Well, the bacon and cheese turnovers have literally got me in a choke. Damn, Greg's gotta be, Greg's gotta be doing real well over there in the UK, huh? It's gotta be a cultural thing, yeah? People have told me that Greg's is like a up, up class corner store a little bit. Like it's, it's, it's more than a corner store. Here in America, we don't got that. We got corner stores and then we got supermarkets we don't have anything in between so i guess it's like an in-between location where you can you can pick up a few different things uh more so than a corner store so it, it's just different like we don't have that here how old i love them we got to avon valley and we went on the titan inflatable obstacle course and when i tell you it was massive i was scared but my main concerns was breaking a nail and getting my hair wet oh yeah dude i think i saw this uh occasion on Corey's bro it was raining here, and these dudes was walking around in socks. Like, they, the, the floors were soaked, and they had socks on, dude. Can you imagine going to an outside obstacle course, and then you walk away with, like, trench foot, man? Yeah, look, dude, dudes is wearing socks. Them shits is moist as hell. Do you guys... Okay, 
I haven't walked around with moist socks in probably, I'm going to really call my, like, it's probably been 20 years for me because I'm an adult and I'm a civilized human being and I'm not going to walk around with moist socks. That even sounds disgusting, dude. Actually, I remember one time there was this girl that told me her vagina is kind of like a moist sock. And I was kind of thinking like, nah, nah, that's not the best. Or I remember this one time, this other girl told me that her vagina was like a hot pocket, which is but if you're going to walk around, I don't know if you guys ever had that like squishy, like, it's not good. It, it doesn't feel good to walk on wet socks. It's nasty. It's gross. You feel the wet fibers coming through up to your toes. It's not good. It's not the best. But uh, you know what, dude? At least I had fun, I suppose. But this shit will be disgusting. I'm not doing something like this. It's not for the weak. Leah makes me weak on this. <laughs> And I came in like a rack and ball of Miley Cyrus. It's, at least it's exercise. This was my favorite bit of the day. I literally couldn't breathe. It was so funny. Leah fell over upside down. I did manage to complete every obstacle because it is so hard. But oh my god, we had the best time. And you gotta, you gotta definitely hydrate back up with a full, a full soda, a full Pepsi. Ever. Not even we a Coke. We had a well-deserved drink afterwards, and we were all dying. I think I'm still aching today. Gotta go to the Mickey D's, bro. It was only one. It's always the Mickey D's, dude. If we're talking about Charlie Ann, dude, Charlie Ann always hitting that Mickey D's at least once a day. Something at least it, once a day, dude. She got a what? Fish fillet, large fry. I think that's a double, a double Big Mac. We'll have to treat ourselves. Yeah, that's a double Big Mac. That's a signature for her, dude. She never not get the double Big Mac. That's what she loves in her mouth. To a cheeky Mackey's. Damn, you can't even fit that shit in your mouth, dude. I think it might be because, for me, right? I can open my mouth pretty wide. Hold up. And I think that one of the reasons because of that is, like, I don't have a lot of lips, so my mouth can open up more appropriately. But I think when your lips are extend, expanded out a little bit when they shouldn't be, you don't have as much mouth movement, right? I don't think your mouth can appropriately ac acquire the amount of food that you desire. So I think that's probably the reason why she was able to only get the bottom bit. And by the way, if you're biting into a burger and you can't fit your entire mouth around it, it's too big. It's too big for you. Just get the regular Big Mac at that point. It's too big. It's too much. I didn't actually get any nugs. I got a fillet. Ooh, they fucked your shit up, dude. I would be heated, dude, if they put my cheese more. Man, I would take that shit back. That shit slopped over on the side. Nugs. I got a fillet of fish, a Big Mac meal. Dude, she kind of like, she removed her finger. Do you saw that quick movement away because she took a bite of her finger Treat real quick? ourselves to a Keep cheeky that. Mackey's. I didn't Keep actually get any quick. nugs. I got a fillet. Look at that shit. That shit was literally in her mouth, bro. She didn't even realize, man. That's crazy as hell. And you know what, dude? If you're if you're somebody that specializes in what I eat in the days, and you're out here making mistakes like this, I gotta call you out on that shit, bro. You you would think that you would be like a connoisseur. You would be an expert when it comes to eating, the art of putting food within your mouth, delicacies, and all this other stuff in your mouth. But it seems like I see a lot of these people, and they suck. They suck at eating, bro. They're getting food all over themselves. They're body slamming food that doesn't even make sense. The cheese, the food they eat is always slopped over. They don't seem to have a problem with that, which makes a lot of sense, honestly, on that particular case. And you're just eating just to eat at that point. You're not really eating to fulfill any other desire besides having the, uh, the, 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 the food just be placed in your mouth. Forget about the flavor. I mean, you're going to Mickey D's at the end of the day. It, it tastes okay, but it's not supposed to be like the best or anything like that. But here we go. And then also... She got some type of growth on her pinky right here. I think that probably might be the residue on that double Big Mac or whatever, dude. But anyway, let's watch her take that finger and just slide it back real quick. For a little fish, a yeah. Big Mac meal, and obviously a massive Mackey's Coke. On the way home, we stopped at the... Gotta get a Starbies. Starbies. I grabbed myself a Starbies, another iced coffee, and Corey got some Freddos. Then when we dropped Martha home, I had to go on her roller skates. I really want to practice and learn how to do it. We spent the night chilling, playing on the Nintendo Switch. Not too bad. Bitch, and we ordered ourselves a takeaway. Guys, Maury's now do a make your own pizza kit. This one is Hawaiian. Got the dough, the tomato stuff, cheese, and ham and pineapple. This was three pounds. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Three pounds? That shit must have expired like two weeks ago. I feel like that's so good because it's like fun as well. You can make your own pizza. Ah! I've never like needed dough before though. I need you, 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 I need you. Are you smiling? That feels insane. Like that actually. It's like a deluxe. It's cheaper. It's three. It's cheaper. So three bills cheaper than a lunchable, like a children's lunchable, which used to be bussin' way back in the day. Yes, I did say bussin', um, but they were never that good. I don't know if you guys remember when you was a children and you rolled up to the scene and it was a day where you was outside with some people, dude. Maybe you were on a field trip or something like that, 
and you looked at everybody else and it was pulling out home cooked meals and it was pulling out good quality nutritious things and you pulled out of your backpack the lunchable dropped it on a table and literally finished it in five minutes and then the other kids had all this other food and you're just looking around but everybody thought you were way cooler than you actually were because they really treasured the lunchable the lunchable at the time had a cultural identification on it it was more substantial in terms of like society's recognition of you instead of like your mom or your dad that put a meal together that was obviously better than the lunchable but you would beg your parents for it you would you would sit there and go i I know you want to make me food. I know you want to sit here and make me something better, more nutritious. That's going to be more quantiful. But let's go to the store and spend $4, $5 on this Lunchable. That's obviously not worth anywhere close to that. So I can impress all the other kids. And then you show up and then everybody looks at you like you're the coolest kid on the block. But guess what? You're not. You're dumb. Because you're sitting there eating a Lunchable, which has no food in it at all. What are you eating? Crackers and meat? What the fuck is that, bro? You got you got a shark, you got a mini charcuterie board in your lunchable packet, bro. You you look you look terrible. Feels insane. I don't think this is supposed to be the point of the video, though. Like, can you imagine, like, over here trying to make a pizza and you're like, damn, this dough, though. I mean, it just feels different. It feels a bit sticky. Do I need to put flour down? I don't want it to stick to the board, so I'm just gonna put some flour down. It might be a little bit. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, I love this. Oh my god, shall I try and do it in the shape of a heart as well? That'd be so me, wouldn't it? It won't come out in the shape of a heart, though. How can they actually make pizzas in a circle? Like, don't they like spin it? Like, oh god. Damn, We've dude. got the tomato base. Oh man, that shit's gonna be thick as hell, dude. Look at that one on the left. That shit is big as hell. Going on. This is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. I hope that is not too thick for pizza as well. I what? That shit's thick as fuck. Really mess it up. The one on the left, the one on the right's a little bit thin, but that one on the left is massive, dude. And then we've got the cheese. I'm guessing this is mozzie cheese. Yeah. Mozzie cheese, lush. I'm guessing We've mozzarella. Got the ham and pineapple. Let's taste the ham. Stunning. That is good ham. I'll taste like lunchable ham. If it's good ham, it's not lunchable ham. I'm going to keep it a buck or two. That lunchable ham is diabolical. That's just not good ham. Nobody's ever said lunchable ham is good ham. And the pineapple. Um, Which is just pineapple, dude. I guess it has the added benefit of making your vaginal secretions or your penis liquidization more uh, appetizing, I guess. But you have to eat a lot of it. Real. I love that I've made the pizza into hearts as well. Like, that's so me. Very cutesy, very demure. Rest of the cheese, Damn. I'm just gonna put on top. Damn, that cheese kind of- You can't Ooh. even tell they're hearts anymore because there's so much toppings on them. In preheat in the oven, I never do that. I don't know who I am. She's hot. I don't think she's ever even opened the oven before in her entire life. I don't think that oven has ever used- I don't think she's ever utilized this oven. Dude, are these- are these coffees back here, dude? Do you have just like- are these like these uh, Dunkin' Donuts coffees, those pre-ones that you can get at the at the supermarket, dude? Those are terrible. Those are really not good. I'm gonna put these. She's in got the a deluxe oven fridge, though. I don't know how long until they're done, to be honest. I think they're done. Right. Let's get the oven gloves on the left. Pot holders. Guys, I've really messed up. Let me see that shit. Yeah, it looks about right, dude. I mean, what what did you expect, dude? That that one on the left was literally massive. That shit was thicker than most women. Well, most women would have strived for that thickness, bro. <laughs> Busted. But she's gonna the eat it. The flour so. I mixed the pizza with was self raising. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's what pizza is. Like, did you not think that pizza will raise up when you cook it? Raise up. <laughs> Damn, I don't even know if you're smiling right now, dude. Let me stop. <laughs> I've got the Barbie plate ready. Let's hope they don't stick. I, I fuck with the Barbie plate, but I also think it's incredibly stupid. I'm so sick of adults. All right? Unless you have, like, children in your life, dude, and you want to make it cool to eat, like, different types of foods that they don't want to eat. You know when kids are like, Bob, I don't want to eat. I want to I don't want to eat broccoli because broccoli is ugly. And I don't like it. And I also don't want to eat cord. And I don't want to eat anything that has vegetables in it. Because vegetables are not good. Because Robert at school, he told me that his mom doesn't eat Oreos for dinner. So that means that I don't want to eat anything that's, that's, that's green, yellow, or anything else that's a vegetable. You can get one of these plates to make it cooler. But most of the time, it's not going to do that anyway. Um, these are just incredibly stupid because they have stuff that sticks out the side of them. Kind of like, you ever see when people have, like, phone... Like, when people have, like, phone cases and they stick out or, like, they think they're cool because they got, like, a Hello Kitty thing that sticks out the front. And then they can't fit it in their pocket so they have to always hold down their phone. Or 
Do you guys remember in like 2016 when everybody had the butt plugs on the back of their phone and they thought they were so cool because they can have they can hold it like this, but they can never put it in their pocket because then they would have like a giant lump hanging out the side of their pocket. Dude, it's just like it's just like that. Like, why would you make things harder for things that you have already? It's just so dumb. Same thing here. When you put this plate in the shelf, it's gonna like conflict with all the other plates that you have. Stop being an idiot and just buy regular stuff. It's not that important to have things that look cool. Nobody even thinks this looks cool. It looks dumb. To that tray. <gasps> they didn't stick. There's my puffy pizza. <laughs> And there's the cutesy little pizza bug heart. It's funny that you said this look like a heart, but I don't even see a heart. Oh, guys, they Damn, look that, that band around her arm is got to be cutting off that circulation, dude. I'm literally seeing the confliction, like the, the center point of that and like the big bulges around it. So cutesy. Look at them. Oh, God. I've let them cool down a bit. Obviously, I've got to have the... Why do you have it in a box? Cla what is this? Hold on. Is this Barbie ketchup? What the hell is this? Heinz Barbie sauce with it. Look at it. What is Barbie sauce? Yo, Barbie sauce kind of sound like... That sound a little bit... Mm, that sound like something somebody on OnlyFans might want to sell. The Barbie box as well. I'm obsessed. Really hope these taste nice. Yo, what the fuck is this shit? That doesn't... That looks diabolical. That looks gross. Where did you keep that? Right, let's give him a taste test. Damn, she really, ooh. Ooh, it's what good. is that, dude? Ooh, why does it look like that? Greg's pizza, it's clumpy. like, that actually looks stunning. Can we, can we take a bite without the bar, the Barbie sauce? Can we do that? Can we get, can we get, like, an, I don't, I mean, obviously, I don't give a fuck. Like, what am I doing here? I don't know. But I would love to know if it tastes okay before you coat it in whatever sauces that you do. Can we just get a good idea first and foremost? Okay. Cheers. Oh my god. You're just tasting the sauce, so you just ruined your own fucking pizza. Nobody even cares anymore. I bet that's just really undercooked because the, the, the dough itself was like three inches. You're lying. That's insane. Are you smiling right now? I, don't, I can't tell. That's literally stunning. It's just dough. Actually. Like, you're just eating dough with, like, burnt cheese on it, dude. Yeah, I'll just... Let me try Bro, my can we please, like, is there not a single slice that we can do without coating in that shit? You literally still have the residue on your lips and the side of your mouth, too. How are you 28, bro? Damn, that was a big-ass bite. Damn. What a life. My flowery lips. What a beautiful life we live, man. Guys, that's stunning. Man, that, 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 that Barbie sauce right at the bottom, man, that shit looked diabolical, dude. And as well for that make your own pizza kit. I mean, for three bills, you can't really go wrong. I'll and give her that. Unreal. Why you in a tent? I'll give her that on the, on the three bills, dude. If you're spending three bucks, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, dude. That's not too bad. That's all right. Hey, go with the same look for I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. Before I started getting ready, I had some bracky. I had crunchy nut clusters, chocolate, obviously. And Usually, okay, look. <laughs> Why is it always bright around the eyes? Why is it always bright around the eyes? Why is it always super amounts of highlight on the corners, dude? I just don't understand. I just don't get it, dude. Like, why is it so bright here? You're usually, like, wearing those Michael Phelps things. You know, like, when you go swimming and they put those, like, binocular glasses things so you can see underwater? Are you wearing one of those? And some apple juice. Then on our way in, we had some puri drinks. I had Mali and Coke. And we grabbed a mojito as soon as we got in there. That mojito was Salt stunning. and vinegar? There was so many different stores. Fuck. What the fuck? On the concrete too? You eating this shit on the on the pavement? Oh fuck, dude. You got your food right next to your busted ass converse, bro. <sighs> Them shits is meated, bro. All you could choose from to get food, but obviously we had That's to go for shit pizza. Ooh, fuck, dude. I don't know about that, dude. They don't have tables here, dude. Everybody eating on the floor? I don't know about that, dude. I got chips and gravy with sausage and butter. That was absolutely gorgeous. What a way to start the show with a chippy tea. Then we decided to share a bottle of wine. Sam Riser was on first. He was so good. 
we didn't know any of his songs, but we were just dancing away. Mm -hmm. We're going to see Becky Hill on Saturday as well. So excited. People sleep on how much uh, alcohol, how much calories alcohol actually has. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of calories in alcohol, dude. Hey, bro, I'll give it out. What are these dunks? Dude, I'll take the, I'll take the dunks. The dunks look okay, bro. With the outfit, it's not too bad. But there's a lot of calories in alcohol. And I see these people are consistently running down the same path over and over and over again, like an Ouroboros of just overeating, which is like you drink a ton of liquid uh, alcohol the night before. And then the next day, you're like, Oh my god, I'm so hungover. I need to, I need to eat a Macca's in order to alleviate my problem. And then next, like, five hours later, they're just back to drinking. Which is probably, like, another couple hundred calories on each drink easily. Yo, what is that random leg in the back, bro? You guys see that? What was that? Back as well. So excited. What the fuck is this shit, bro? What, <laughs> what did somebody just defy gravity really quickly? What is this? No explanation, just random leg. What the hell? Who the hell is Mick Fly, dude? Is that Marty? Marty? How, how do I see the tanner when it's dark? It's just so much like I can see so much of that tanner. Yo, what is up? Like, are you just in the are you just in the trend right now of twerking randomly out of nowhere? What is up? What's going on with Charlie Ann, bro? This is her era, like the twerking girl era. What are we doing, man? Oh, we literally had the best night ever. It was so good. I feel like <laughs> I mean, what do you want? What do you want, dude? You knew it was gonna happen. You knew, you knew, I knew it was what it was, dude. If it ain't Mickey D's, it's nothing. It's a Mickey D's or bust. Corey always somehow managed to appear when Mickey D's is coming up. We don't, I don't know why. He must have like the spawn code or something like that, dude. The dude is literally like a random companion. You know when you're playing Skyrim and you, you just randomly walk into like a, a new town or whatever and it loads in and then boom, your companion is there even though you haven't saw him in like 45 minutes because you're running faster than everybody else. That's what Corey is like when you walk into the Mickey D's, dude. You walk in and Corey's is just there. He's like, oh my god, are we getting a Mackey's today? I cannot wait to eat the Mackey's. The dreams. Before we came and got us, and you know where he's headed. The double Big Mac signature. Signature for sure. Oh, I will be heated as hell, bro. You telling me they really, they skimped out on, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you something, dude. They throw away more fries than they sell, okay? If they really out here giving you these diminished ass fries, these anorexic fries, dude, come on, dude. Get, get up there. Get up there, dude. I'm gonna need more quantity on that, dude. The fries already are not even that good. Uh, I mean, they're they're good, but they're not good if you wait more than five minutes. If you're eating these shits right away, the crispiness, the fries, oh, it's delectable, it's delicious. Of course, five minutes later, dude, it's like, it's like you're just flaccid. You know what I'm saying, dude? I'm just flaccid, dude. It's like when when you when you're hitting a girl from the back and you look at the butthole and you're like, I know what that is. Like, I know what this does. I, I I can understand everything, right? I, I know what this is. And then you go, I, I'll be right back. I got to go pee. But you, you just went to the bathroom because you lost it. You lost it. So you're just sitting in the bathroom looking at yourself in the mirror like, am I just gay? Like, what am I doing, bro? It's a full woman you have here. It's a full woman, a beautiful woman that wants you to have sex with her. And you're just sitting there and you're just like <laughs> slapping your shit up because... Why am I not hard? It's just like, I'm just thinking too much about it. I'm thinking too much about what this butthole does. And it's not about what it does. It's about, how do you get past that? Somebody help me. I need help. Straight away, Mackey's. I got 20 nugs. And 20 piece, which is about what? 8, 830, 870 calories. A double Big Mac, dude. You're looking at easily 700 calories for that. 700 calories. No joke. 700 calories for that, that double Big Mac. And she had a large fry, which is about 500 or 100 right there, dude. You're looking at, let me see this real quick. Oh, that gotta be two stacks. That gotta be at least two stacks, 2,000 calories right there. Most women need to eat about 2,000 calories a day. But most, you know, if I'm being honest with you, a lot of them don't even need to eat that. You might need to eat substantially less than that. It's all about what, how tall you are and, and what your daily calorie expenditure looks like. But uh, given the fact that this is just one meal and it's literally like, what, 12 a.m. in the morning, dude? 
I mean, she's not doing she's not doing anything on this, bro. She's just gonna eat this. She's gonna go to sleep, and it's gonna be your stomach gonna be bubbling in the morning. On a Big Mac, stunning. And as soon as I got home, I went straight to bed and watched my fave, Cory. I'm obsessed. What I eat in a day? I had some. It's just too easy. It's just too easy to be body slamming all this food, dude. I got that Uber Eats on the number one app used. For breakfast again, and I won't even hungover i was just craving it bad these meatballs were absolutely gorgeous and so was this sub i got chicken tikka with olives cucumber sweet corn and mayo and cheese obviously there was corn in there too people commented about me having sweet corn with my chicken tikka in a yeah, sandwich it's weird. Um, it is stunning don't knock it till you Try it. For tea, I had some fish and chips. It was just like oven food. I've still got this horrendous cough, so I had some tip tops and a fruit winder. How do you guys eat yours? I peel it all off. Don't eat it. What is that? What the fuck is that, bro? What did you like? Did you harvest the foreskin of a camel? Why does it look like that? What is this? Is this is this a is this like a fruit roll up? It looks like a meat roll up, dude. What is that? Why are your hands orange? put it in a bowl i can't wait a second longer for the new mcdonald's cheese bites so, so guess where we're going Ma yeah i mean yeah over here talk about the mcdonald's menu I, can you imagine saying i cannot wait a, a minute longer for the new mcdonald's item so guess where we're going guys that's right ikea he's beat I am so excited. Yo, calm down with that food aggression, dude. You kind of going a little bit too hard. I can't, it can't be that good, right? 20 piece ch chicken McNuggets share box? Look how stunning. Oh my. But it's just an image on a screen, dude. Like, they don't actually look like this. Oh, God, there they are. Big Tasty is always crazy to me, dude. There they are. Yeah, I'll give you that big tasty right now. I got that big tasty right here coated with that good shit. You already know Vaseline cocoa butter. Hiya, can I have the cheese melt dippers, please? Also? The cheese melt dippers. I also got a big tasty. Yo. Um, I'm not really a big tasty lover to be honest. And celebrations but clurry. I'm quite disappointed with the burgers. I thought it was gonna be like more burgers, but oh well. Right, we've got the goods. I'm gonna do an eat tea with me when I get home. Celebrate. Whoa! Whoa! Where'd that come from, dude? You ain't say nothing about that. You got a McFlurry too? Versions McFlurry. Damn, that's a lot. McFlurry. It's McFlurry. McFlurry. Not McFlurry. I got a chalky milky. A waist. A chocolate milk too? Why? What are you, nice? And here's the goodies in here. I'm literally starving and it smells. Nah, you ain't starving, dude. You don't even know what that is, man. Done in. It is what it is, dude. Can't stop this girl from getting Mackies, dude. I'm surprised Corey didn't spawn in, dude. That's actually really an enigma. I, I thought Scory would have been right there, but I guess maybe he wasn't there. Maybe he was in the background. Maybe he was the one driving. Who knows? But anyway, uh, that's the end of the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, I appreciate it very much. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching today. Um, it helps me grow on the algorithm, so if you could do that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you. If you watched the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in orange because it seems like everybody in this video was just different shades of that color, orange. Uh, it's not even really my favorite color. Orange is very basic, very default, very normal. Like, it's just the most basic color out there. I don't think there's another color that's more basic than that. Am I wrong? It doesn't matter. You're not basic. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're complex. You have different dimensions to you. You're like an onion, like they say in Shrek, right? You got different layers to you, okay? You're more complicated than most people, and I love that about you. You got more personality. You got more character development. You've been through the trials and tribulations. You've come on the other side as a better person, and that's amazing. That is really amazing. Good for you. Thank you so much for being such an amazing person. Anyway, uh, if you want to check out the social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.